All right, here's the next part. I um, got ahead of myself. These are kind of flappy here, but that's kind of the way I designed it and necessary so I can get some uh, flexibility out of uh, positioning. Um, so these all just pop off here, all four of these. These are actually just useful parts. They're not actually aesthetic by any means. Okay, so it leaves the, pe the posts again. I come back under here and reposition under here. Pop. One, two, ooh, 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 missed it. Two. Let me switch to the other side. Three. Four. So now they're back to pretty much original height. And they need to be original height in order for this connection to work, right? Here and here. So that was fun, trying to line up these connector ports to make sure that this worked and then also so the vortex could fit underneath. Nightmare. Um, but it worked. So these obviously just come over. They do their thing. There it is. Ooh, that was a loud click. Maybe is this one all in? Yeah, that one's in. Okay. And it does. There, there. And obviously you guys have seen it pop there we go so now we've got the base ready to rock dual purpose hydraulics function all that stuff all right now we've got the base or the hub if you will um, kind of gives away a little bit of what's going on now I'm gonna have to take some of these things um, off camera and put them together off camera simply because I don't want to break it or maybe I'll just stand up and I have to be very careful with long haul especially just the way his flex and I'll I'll show you here let me do rampage or I'm sorry wow I even screwed up um where'd he go what a mess oh there he is whiplash sorry um so I'm just going to get him connected here. Again, bear with me. Okay. Let me make sure it lines. Eh, that's not, that's one click too far. Okay. That's the right height. All right. Let's get long haul involved here. Now, again, hinge over. So I got to. I gotta be careful here because you see this gap right there? I don't want this guy to break. So I gotta be very, very careful. I should have braced it. Um, hindsight 2020. So hopefully, if you hear a loud break, and not a whole lot of cursing after that, I suppose. No, I'm just kidding. There it is. Oh, okay. Now, I'm gonna back this guy up because this is gonna start getting pretty big. Um, let's take a look at, oh, she's getting all screwy too because now my turntable doesn't work. Okay. What's my time? Okay. Let's see, well, how did I go about this last night? I transformed it for the first time last night, just taking the proper steps in order to be very, very careful. Um, let's do, let's do skipjack around, around the leg 
here. Even though he's probably going to shake loose because he kind of sits on there a little loose. Um, he's way off center, isn't he? Man, I keep getting the wrong. That would have been easier. All right. This guy, magnet here, magnet up underneath the back of the leg, pops in, and sits just like that. Not super secure, not kind of, I'm not that happy. I'm, I'm satisfied because it will just sit there, but if you pick him up, he, his leg kind of droops a little bit, but that's okay. Um, let's get the, the shovel bent around the leg here. So these bits here are actually going to hook right here. I actually use these. They just kind of hook onto the other shovel like that. So if you can't see it when I do it, hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. It's tight, it's tight, tight fit here. Because these here were actually late additions and stupid me didn't check the clearance. So it's actually pretty tight. Again, it's kind of guesswork on a few of the parts and just get positioning right. And this bends up and hooks right there. See that? Hook right there. Do the same thing on the other side. Sorry. Not in your way. E. It's a little... Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that'll work. Stupid clearance. Oh, maybe it's because I'm a little further out there. That's why. That's better. Maybe not. Who cares? All right, moving on. These bits here. Just get these kind of pieces up out of the way. and then they connect to widen the foot. Wrong side. There we go. Magnets, easy, easy peasy. Widens the footprint, gives him more of a uh, wider footprint. Um, I forgot these things kind of just kind of came off here. But again, these just plug in and I'm gonna have to, I'll be fiddling with these the whole night because they just kind of sit there. Um, next, let's see. I want to do the crane or high tower next because that's kind of a fiddly, I hate saying that because it's really not that bad. It's really not that fiddly um, overall, but oh. Uh, there it is. I should have organized myself before I even started this this last this this latest video. Um, since these all fold, this all folds in, it actually kind of fits right in the pocket. Believe that worked out really good. Now this little loop here is where this guy comes down. And hopefully, oh, poo, I gotta loosen up the, hang on, you got to get to see it anyway, right? Loosen these up. There we go. Give me some more slack. There we go. And this hooks in right there hooks in there so now just gotta tighten up these baddies sorry 
friction. Okay. Good enough. Um, these here, I didn't really talk about these. These, these arms, the base under here is from the original toy, but these are actually long, long hauls arms. I had some extra long haul arms from long haul. Um, and so I cannibalized long haul even more. And these are the original base units for the shovel parts on Crumble Zone, which is these just pop on here. Just like so. And they're articulated. They they do turn. See? They do turn. Same thing here. There we go. Again, I wish I discovered the bionical stuff before. Um, so, there's his hand, his arm, kind of ready to rock, except for the thumb. What a mess I am, huh? This here, there's the thumb. I'm going to actually extend this out. And then dual purpose, uh, where is it? Yep, right here. Up underneath here, underneath one of the scavenger bits, here's his other weapon. So this slides off of there. Oh, there's the storage for the other wrecking ball too. So I kind of went against the grain as far as keeping that with high tower. But still, oh well. So this, the weapon piece actually just kind of unfolds like that. And then that's what's actually going to keep this in place through here. All right there. Slides up, weapon, I don't know if this is on camera or not so I apologize but I told you ahead of time, right? Tight, tight fit. But now it's on. I'm actually going to turn that around a little bit because I need. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, 13 minutes. We've got two more. I'm going to connect this guy into the arm. So I'm going to be very, very careful. Oops, I've got to actually pinch these over top, securing crumble zone. Plus it gives me something to grab onto. And then we'll position these We'll position these later. All right, I'm going to move on to. Yeah, well, I got some time. Scrapper, real easy. Okay. And then his bits. Shovel bits. And then from the backpack, if you remember the backpack, I didn't really go over it too much. Um, here are his extension arms. Hopefully I can get this in the video. There's one, two, three, twist. So this connects here. And I'm running out of time. See you in the next video.